and results of published yesterday. Um, they were more or less quite an interesting mixed bag of, of um, information. I think there were three big headline things which um, came out of those. The first one, in my opinion, is that you know, the JSA out job outcome rate is actually pretty good, and that is really good news because they are by far the largest group in the work programme. So that's um, JSA claimants between 18-24 and JSA um, 25+. plus. Um, so yeah, it's a lot better. You've got um, 18 out of 40 providers have hit their minimum target. So it's not great, but it's definitely better than it was in November. So that is really good, and hopefully that will continue to improve as uh, the work programme kind of settles and starts to work um, better. The second big thing I think that comes out of um, these results is very, very interesting data about um, the cohort performance, because all of these are kind of cohorts. You have the first financial year cohort and then the second financial year cohort. And the ones we've been looking at is the second financial year. So they, these are the people who started in um, early 2012 and have been on the programme for a year. That performance is much, much better than the people who've been on the programme from June 2011. Now, it's not quite clear why that happened, but it's possibly because either people who were referred in June 2011 were out harder to help because they've been unemployed longer, or because of the short time in which prime providers had to put together the work programme because of short contracts, um, that it's only until now that they've been able to kind of get that stuff sorted, really, and kind of make it work. The third thing I think is important about the, um, the work programme, the statistical release and what it tells us about how the work programme is doing, is how badly people who are on the Employment Support Allowance, or ESA, are, are doing in terms of their job outcome rates. This is the main unemployment or out of work benefit for people with disabilities. And at the moment the job outcome rate is only 5.5%, which is just far too low. The work programme was meant to be a mainstream programme which could help people um, with specialist needs such as dis disabilities and it's obvious it's not work helping this group in the way it should be. The government really needs to consider how it can help work programme providers to help um, people with specialist needs and if it's not then it needs to look at alternatives because this is a group which can be held back into work with the right support. We've done the research, the evidence is there, this is what the Work Foundation does and it needs to look at other options. At the moment over 150,000 people with disability and um, who are on employment support allowance have been referred to the work program and yet only of just over 5,000 have had a job outcome. That's not acceptable. Yes, to a certain extent. Unfortunately, we don't have cohort data on this. We only have cumulative data, which is a little bit less robust and doesn't quite show us everything we'd like to see, but it, it is indicative. Um, the job outcome rate for this group is very low, it's only 2%. To put that into perspective, for all other health conditions it's 3% and for people with no health condition, it's, um, or no recorded health condition, it's 12%. So yeah, it's not good. There's plenty of evidence that work, if it's good work, it can be good for you. And that with the right support, even people with severe disabilities can be helped to enter and remain in employment. There are 160,000 people with a disability who have been referred to the work programme. We can't afford to leave them. 